Hello and welcome to Electric Felix in the Model 3 Long Range. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so... Okay, 40 hours passed. No, 39 right now. Almost 40. Uh, then the car needs to be back. I'm right where it needs to be, so... The next hour I can use to do some grinding around the block here like crazy. Anyway, um, I went to Berlin from Amsterdam yesterday. I had one night exhibition opening of a friend, dinner with myself, meeting some friends in the morning breakfast with friends coffee with myself in the sun and I went back and I brought many people with me it was a great trip back to the subject the car 40 hours with the model 3 long range driving to Berlin and back Thursday to Berlin Friday back to Amsterdam I visited three, no, yes, three Ionity stations today, one Fastnet and one Tesla supercharger. And even though I would like Fastnet to be the winner, mm -mm, no, supercharger slowest of them all never go there never go to the supercharger joking I'm very glad that the supercharger is there because at Lauenau really close to Hanover this is a total dead area for high power chargers so the Tesla supercharger is the only thing you've got and you only get it in a Tesla so I was very lucky both yesterday and today to visit this Lauenau supercharger but I used all the charges I could get my hands on just to compare, to see does it make any sense to do many stops and autobahn racing and another stop and more racing and another stop. Like what does it matter to stop if the car charges as fast as the Model 3 does? I don't know how much music you can handle in this video. Maybe I ruined it doesn't matter point is I used all European fast chargers that matter at this point at least in these countries Fastnet will have presence soon in Switzerland at least next year hopefully Belgium too they're already in England but not really spread out like in Germany and in the Netherlands of course they're everywhere Anyway, mm, so Fastnet has a lot of upgrades to do, just like Tesla, because for some reason, uh, Tesla superchargers, I've heard this version 3 thing, blah, 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 well, nice, is it, are there European version 3 chargers anyway? I don't know, I'm not a Tesla expert, this was my first long distance trip in a Tesla. I don't even know how to look at the data for my trip. Mm. This is uh, since last charge. And then, uh, yeah. No, this is uh, very uninformative. Uh, energy. Mm, trip. Start a trip, but I already did a trip. Okay. Yeah, so, you know. Anyway, I don't know. Is there any history? Probably you need a Tesla app for that. Don't have the Tesla app. So this is a UFO drive rental. And the only thing you need is their app. Their app, you arrange your booking. You look at the car before you get it. The app tells you where to go, to the right parking garage, 
where you'll find the signs super easy then you use your phone to sign the contract and you look at the damage which was none because the car is brand spanking new and then you go you open the doors with your phone and you're ready it was craziest rent car rental experience ever because yeah I'm I'm a car rental expert I I think I could say after yeah at least a hundred car rental transactions in the last 10 years mm. at all the companies Europe car Hertz sixth Avis budget which is all the same some of them I'd say depending on where you go Mm, yeah I mean all these car rental agencies have this I mean sixth if you go to some airport in Switzerland then you can open a car with your app well nice but I don't rent cars in Switzerland do you know prices in Switzerland anyway so with UFO drive you just book a car walk over to it open it, drive it, bring it back, which is what I'm gonna do next. Um, definitely the easiest car rental experience I ever had. Um, nobody, like some, I have to say, especially at the sixth counter, I've got my friends nowadays because, yeah, I've been there a gazillion of times. Uh, past year alone, 15 Jaguar I-Paces for crazy road trips all around Europe. I mean, these people, uh, yeah, some of them just say, hey, if you. Anyway, but yeah, just walking over to a car, opening it, driving it. I never had a key. I never pushed a start button. What is this? I, I even had to look at the door, what's going on here. And I just, I, I never looked at a video of how somebody opens a Model 3 door. But this is a very ingenious system and obviously it was easy to figure out. But I mean there's all these things. I cannot prove that Tesla does this to be cool. But I think so. And they are sort of in in a computer techy kind of way. Uh, yeah. Point is you can race this car. Then you can charge the car, which will go crazy fast. And if you visit Ionity chargers, especially 190 kilowatts, is easily obtained. It just yeah, just make sure that the car is around 20 percent or a bit below or whatever. Um, you'll be at 50 percent with a toilet break. It is really. I never had. I traveled around Europe for the whole year 50,000 kilometers and yeah I've waited for charges all over the place and of course uh, it's really easy to drive around the Netherlands and Germany because fast chargers are everywhere if you take this car to Croatia Slovenia Poland then there are not HPCs everywhere, so yeah. But also, you're not on the autobahn, so you're not doing 200 kilometers per hour like I did half the day. Uh, yeah, and driving 180, 190 steady, and then going for a 10-minute charge, and then repeating the racing thing for an hour or so, and then another 10-minute charge and you just keep on racing and you can literally do 10 minute charges and just repeat the same wow I, 11 minute charges give you 26 kilowatt hours of new energy yeah you need that to do cruising altitude of 160 kilometers per hour you can really do one hour driving 150 kilometers per hour plus do a 10 minute charging break rinse and repeat 
all day long if these chargers are there this car will just keep on racing it's yeah I mean I've driven the Jaguar I-Pace it does 200 kilometers per hour easily it is locked as a bullet on that speed you feel there's much power left which is sad they decided on limiting it at 200 I mean maybe it's good for the battery I kind of proved this but at Tesla they didn't limit it there's another model 3 passing uh, over there at Tesla they didn't limit it so this car does 230 plus and it is very noisy the wind is everywhere it's not super comfortable anymore especially not on the German highway uh, which is far as I know the only highway where you can do that stuff legally so I mean you don't need the 230 but still they didn't limit it because they wanted to show you that it can do this like who will actually do it some Germans I, I think um, but it doesn't even matter it is just this I thought that Tesla was a bit of an arrogant brand I guess that that would be my honest um, uh, thinking out loud kind of speech but now I'm afraid I have to um, say I, I understand much of the arrogance because they know what they're doing they've been working on these batteries and these engines for so long I mean the Jaguar is a fast car it's in the 100 sprint it's as fast as this one which is yeah it's very fast under five seconds to 100 this one does exactly the same the thing is though that the throttle response in the Jaguar as you've probably have seen in some videos from somebody that is very good at videos when they're driving not my specialty then yeah you will have noticed that drivers push the pedal afterwards the car goes racing and I know that I've seen tons of reviews read about it I mean the Tesla is quicker to respond I know that but now I felt it and it changes things like really you will squeeze in somewhere because you know that you easily make it and you don't even need to push the throttle so much because it just responds so quickly um, yeah I'm uh, this is a beast and one day I might do the eco challenge and actually take this car at 100 kilometers per hour or 110 perhaps to go to Spain something like this I hope I can manage a trip like that but right now I just thought you know I'm going to Berlin let's enjoy the Autobahn yesterday I did it relaxed just had a Ionity break supercharger Ionity Berlin easy today was Ionity supercharger fastnet Ionity another Ionity dinner break but every time except for the last one because we had food all of these breaks have been 10 minute style I mean sometimes it was 11 maybe even 12 and then we had dinner which probably cost us 20 minutes thing is this car will go faster than you can I, I went to the toilet and I come back from the toilet and I didn't even I didn't even go in the store to buy anything you come back it's above 50% the kilowatt hours are just flowing you can easily make it to any next charger destination that it is ridiculous you go to the to people are talking like cars need a charge blah blah whoa this guy is driving with his lights off hmm. I think they put it on anyway mm. this car yeah go for a charge no it's like go for a toilet break coincidentally there is a supercharger there you come back from the toilet it's like you need 
to race again or at least I felt like that because there's so much energy coming in like yeah it also needs to go out let's keep it flowing it's green green energy because Ionity gives green energy fast not too only the supercharger I'm not sure hopefully anyway model 3 experience 40 hours in a model 3 long range Amsterdam Berlin on Thursday Berlin Amsterdam on Friday I'm amazed I had pretty high expectations and I mean it's noisy the wind the wind noise is crazy when you drive 200 kilometers per hour it's a lot of wind noise but who cares the car is so silent it's so fast it's fun to drive the whole everybody was enjoying themselves I mean if I go for a 10 minute charging break I tell people that just bought a sandwich to run back or almost oh I'm joking but I'm, I'm like we we can go we were here for 10 minutes we have to go because there's another charger when we arrive to the next charger charging will be faster because our state of charge will be lower this car just wow it just keeps on going I'm yeah this video is long enough I think um, well judgment on a model 3 is uh, this is the ideal road trip monster and probably for the people that know the Tesla and have driven the Tesla for years I'm not telling them anything new but I have been driving so many electric cars and the Jaguar especially all, ar all around Europe but um, yeah this is just crazy the yeah the power and especially the charging speeds yeah you there's no waiting there's just no waiting for charging you you can just go if you're on your way home and you're not gonna make it if you stop for five minutes you will make it I mean five minutes what are, what what is this how can five minutes give you real energy that's useful and the consumption is in, in this car if you if you're not racing can be easily below 200 watt hours so this energy that comes in is worth so much and it comes in so fast yeah try this car if you haven't um, UFO drive is your main supplier in the Netherlands Luxembourg Belgium Germany they just opened in Paris today enjoy I might pick one up in Paris one day and drive it to Barcelona because that just feels like it has to be done just to enjoy the ride even more than in all these other cars ciao electric Felix says hi